when we use functions um, in modeling real life situations, um, the domain might usually be restricted due to practicality. For example, if we have time, we can't have negative time, which means that our graphs will start at zero and work their way up. A uh, few cases like this, so just make sure that when you do these questions that you understand what you are doing. Now, when we're using these real-life situations, we're going to have two major steps. The first one is you're going to form an equation um, involving a variable and then you're going to sketch a graph about that. Once you've done that, you're going to use the graph to determine the domain and the range. And the questions will probably lead you to what you have to do. So let's look at the worked example 16. I'm going to see if I can fill it up here. Of course, we need quite a bit of space. Okay, so in this worked example, they ask us, express the cost as a hybrid function. So the table below describes higher rates for a removal van. Express the cost as a hybrid function and then sketch the graph of this function. And this is what they give us. So I'm going to make that smaller. And then I'm going to move it up so I can have place to write. So first of all, they say express the cost as a hybrid function. So I know that I need to have the cost C. What is dependent? What is independent? Now, the cost will depends on how much or for how long you hire it. So the cost depends. So you will have the cost depends on whatever I do with this. Now, this is going to be a hybrid function. Okay, so when I hire it for up to three hours, it's going to cost me 200. So that's just going to be straightforward 200. When is this going to happen? It's going to happen between zero and zero hours. You can't include zero hours because when you hire it for zero hours, you're not going to pay anything. So it's going to be zero hours up and including to three. It's then going to be $300 if you go past that, so $300 if you go from three hours, but you don't include three hours. So up to three, it's going to be that. The moment you go over that, up to five hours, you're going to pay 300 and 450 if you go past that, which means five hours up to eight hours. So we're not going to draw this um, function. I'm going to do the following. I can't go negative. So my graph will start there somewhere. Um, and let's see the highest it goes up to is 450. So I'm going to say 450. There's going to be 350. There's going to be 250. 150. 50. And 0. So 50, make sure it's up to scale. And this is going to be for the number of hours. And I'm going to say it's one hours, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, six hours, seven hours, and eight hours. All right. This is going to be the um, cost in dollars. This is going to be my hours in hours hours in hours and this is going to be one two three four five six seven eight all right so from zero including three hours but zero is not included so for this part for this part it's going to be two hundred dollars which is there at zero it's going to be excluded so it's going to be a round circle it's going to exclude all the way to 3, and 3 is included. So for all that time, it's going to be there. Then, from 3 to 5 hours, it's going to cost $300. So $300 over there. It's not including 3, so it is a round thing. And for up to 5 hours, you're going to pay exactly the same. So it's going to be a straight line. The last question 
and then it's going to be for the last part is for 450 not inclusive at five sorry that's 450 it's up here it's a round one and it's going to go to eight hours inclusive and that will be the graph of that function they didn't ask us what is their range if they've asked us what is our range that's the y values it will be between 200 and 450. what was our domain domain will be from zero all the way to eight hours can you see that this is a discontinuous graph this is not continuous this is a discrete graph because it's not a continuous line. 